is The Chris Abraham Show. Hey there, this is the Chris Abraham Show. My name's Chris Abraham. It is season five, episode 58. And the only reason 58 might be special to me is because my dearly beloved dad, sorry, Robert John Abraham, Bob, Bob Abraham, uh, my personal Hemingway died at 58 uh, in June of 1995 when I was 25. So... Pour one out to you, Daddy, Daddy, Daddy Do. Uh, today is going to be boring or interesting or self indulgent or humble brag or all the above or none of the above. I did make it to. So yesterday I was knackered. Yesterday I did run a park run. I almost wimped out uh, because I was so knackered from. Friday and Thursday. I don't know why, but when I woke up on Saturday, I'm like, I'm running late. I'm not feeling it. So I was going to even take an Uber to Roosevelt Island, but then I'm like, come on, Chris. So I pumped my tires and jumped on the bike, which doesn't have SPDs or cages anymore. It's just big plastic, uh, super duper big, like flat uh, mountain bike BMX pedals. And my uh, bar horn, uh, Nitto, is that right? Um, bars and it five miles to Roosevelt Island, got there plenty of time, put on my high vis orange tailwalker vest, said hello to the beautiful South African family that I've adopted, two adorable blonde little daughters, uh, lovely mom and dad who stays at home every Saturday in order to enjoy uh, uh, football and rugby. Manly man, love it. So I get to be Uncle Chris. Uh, I am a tailwalker, so I didn't get to hang out with the girls yesterday, which was sad, but I got some hugs, and they were off on holiday. So uh, they were there and adorable and uh, wise and smart and confident as girls well beyond their, I think, five, six, seven-year-old, uh, ten is the other, and uh, respect for wearing flip-flops to a park run because they know they're volunteering and not running. So uh, the littlest one wore a cape the whole time because she's volunteered ten times. So they honored her, and I did uh, tail walking, and it was fun, but I whacked my little toe and... Uh, not whacked it, but it was uh, the day before on Friday. I I definitely could tell that I had a huge uh, water like um, blister and tried to pop it, but then it was bad yesterday. And by the time I had a call at eleven, so I just sat on a bench in the middle of the glorious, beautiful blue day. Uh, I sat uh, in the middle of Roosevelt Island National Park in front of President Roosevelt uh, in all of his glory and got extreme amounts of sun and talked to the gang from Elefante Marketing for some work I'm doing for Elefante Marketing. And then, oh man, my my hamstrings are toast. So, (laughs) and that'll mean something later. So I finally, I met a girl named Becca. She has a beautiful Touton Noir specialized bike. And she's Touton Noir from her helmet to her to her toes. And she was smashing and beautiful and wonderful and cool and hip and young and happening. And she loved on my bike and I loved on her bike. And I made fun of her for wearing Touton Noir. But then she made a fun of me for wearing Touton Noir. And then we, I tried to sell her on coming to the next park run. And then we parted ways. And I say this out loud because 
I'm terrible with names, so I remember her name is Becca, and she's adorable and wonderful and cool and charming and friendly and vivacious and all those things. Uh, she's also, I think, tall. Anyway, tall, but good tall, not like eight feet tall. Uh, and then I rode my bike to Crystal City because I hadn't eaten. All I had was water and coffee in the morning. I didn't even have, you know, what I'm going to start doing now is before my workouts, I'm going to pound some protein powder and coffee, protein powder with coffee. So that's my new drug of choice before. Um, and I'll be talking about F45 training in a second. So uh, anyway, I bicycled to Crystal City went to the Crystal City Whole Foods and just like maxed out on everything that was meat because I'm sort of ostensibly on a carnivore diet, even though protein powder isn't very, like there's additives and it's not carnivore completely. But let's just say anytime I eat food, it'll be mostly carnivore. And then I'll, uh, sub, I'll add to that protein powder and maybe like pre-workout maybe i'll order a tub of pre-workout um so i got home <laughs> no no look, full story i ate an entire like medium box of like chicken and chicken and uh cod and like all this like sundry meat was whatever was at the hot bar chowed down gave myself an hour of recovery from that and then wasn't feeling it. So I jumped on my bike and went over to where the Chick-fil-A is across the street from Nordstrom's at that bus place. And I've got like $50 on my Metro trip card. So I just waited for the 16M bus. Because for you, for you who don't know, there is a quasi, there's enough of a formidable hill from um, Crystal City, Pentagon City to where I live on the pike that right now it's just a pain in my butt and it dissuades me. So I was just, I was feeling tapped out from 10 miles of riding, sitting in the sun and 5k of walking, like all in the morning, uh, that I just threw. The beautiful thing about DC buses is they've got free, uh, two free bicycle spots on the front of every bus and they're underutilized. So there's always a spot for what, what we should, what should we name my bike? It's a 2010 Surly Steamroller, uh, 2011, 2010, 2011 Surly Steamroller. What is his or her name? Uh, she probably already has a name, but I don't remember it. So anyway, I threw her on the front of the bus. I brought it home and I honestly, I crashed for how many hours? Like, my goodness, I crashed for a number of hours. Let me see. La 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 to almost 5.30, like like I completely wrecked my day. And then I was able to go to sleep after that at uh, 9.30, so like I didn't kill my sleep. The night before, I had only had around seven hours of sleep, which is normal for people not me, not like me, but I try to get a full eight or seven and a half or whatever. So Whatever my uh my sleep last night was uh eighty one so it's consider considered good um and then I woke up early this morning I woke up at six forty one because I had uh, an o nine hundred uh very my very first uh like functional training class at this um this class like this 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 global like like orange theory called f45 and there's one that's 10 minutes away by walking in penrose square so i woke up i decided not to eat anything because i was afraid of vomiting in the class um and uh i i basically had four scoops 
of uh, of of protein and the coffee that was left over in the pot from yesterday that I didn't drink, and uh, and then a bunch of water. I packed my um, my dom key bag, like my dom key uh, camouflaged bag. I've packed it with a my Gatorade towel, uh, my Nalgene bottle. I filled a Nalgene bottle, which is 33 ounces, with uh, uh, two scoops of, of Relite electrolyte, and then slept over there and met uh, Laura, Laura, Lauren, Laura, and she gave me the uh, update. And it's 45 minutes. Today was 45 minutes of pretty like weight training stuff and my knees are garbage and my quads are garbage. So I did a lot of, um, a lot of adapted workout and it was fine. Uh, the woman next to me, Kate, I don't, I don't remember what her name is. Yikes. Uh, I will remember next time, but she like was so motivating. Everybody was so supportive. Uh, you're really not interactive, even though that you have like a, 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 a pod, of people who are doing the same exercises at the same time. She was always supportive, always instructional. She's done 42 workouts. So like there's, uh, and, and I had plenty of Laura's time. I had plenty of this woman's time. I feel like everybody was super supportive. Everybody was trying to give me alternative exercises. I could have just stood there and wiggled my butt and it would have been okay. Like there were a lot of pistol squats I don't know, pistol squats are super intimidating for me. Like I would do alternate things. Like there was this, I, I did a, I did planks. I did, I did everything pretty much for the first half, the first half of the way through. I felt like a million bucks for the second half. I became sweaty McSweat face. I, uh, towards the end, I started getting brittle and shaky and, and, uh, uh not until, So I paced myself pretty well. It wasn't until the last couple exercises where I started to fall apart. And then afterwards, uh, I stayed for another 10 minutes or another five minutes. And Laura ran the people who stayed behind through some amazing stretches. Uh, She told me at the very end, she's like, I want to talk to you afterwards. And I'm like, oh, no, I'm going to get cut. She's going to be like, we never cut anybody, but you're like, you know, bad knee, bad knee face. And like, you're totally getting cut, but she just wanted to figure out if I was into it, if I liked it, she was going to sign me up for like fully like unlimited. But then when I got into the, into the tool, I'm like, I could get another seven days for $7. So I did that. And then afterwards I'm going to commit to unlimited, uh, which is around $55 a week, 50, $55 a week. And I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it earlier. I'm going to do it later. The only day I'm not going to do it is on Saturdays, because on Saturdays I'm doing park run, right? So every day of the week, I'm going to do some semblance of 45 minute to an hour. Uh, I'll never do an hour because Saturday is an hour, but every day I'm going to do 45 minutes of some sort of like high intensity training. And I'm just going to do it. I'm going to do it. I'm going to maybe slack. I'm going to maybe like putts out. I'm going to maybe tap out. I'm just going to say, okay, 45 minutes every day of the week, except Saturday when I do a bike ride and a park run, a tail walk. Every day of the week, I'm going to do something. Then afterwards, I, I, on the way there, I ordered a giant espresso, but I didn't get any of it in me before the class. Uh, But I had it afterwards and it was lukewarm. That's fine. I went out into Penrose, Penrose Square. I basked like a basilisk. I basked like a skink. I basked like the the green tailed skink that we saw yesterday on Roosevelt Island, and I basked and basked and basked, and then I ordered a uh, ham and cheese omelet from Bob and Edith's, and I had it was extremely expensive because I didn't get any of the carbs. I just got an omelet and a side of sausage and a side of bacon, and I maxed out my protein. Speed uh, an hour after the workout, and uh, went and walked and grabbed that and chomped on that, and then set my intermittent fasting alarm so that I won't eat till tomorrow 
after my next uh, F45 workout. And I feel like these high intensity workouts are a little bit like Ozempic. Let me explain. Ozempic basically makes you sick to your stomach so you don't want to eat. Honestly, these kind of high intensity workouts make me sick to my stomach and not want to eat. Like an hour after the workout, I knew I needed to get calories into me. So I like, I kind of stuffed uh, the ham and cheese omelet and the sausage and the bacon into me like, like, uh, like, like, um, uh, like stuffing into the bite of a turkey. But like, I'm feeling gross. Like I need to just eat enough, uh, drink enough uh, hydration and salts and stuff. And I was thinking I would need to take a nap afterwards, but I just came back and threw all of my stuff into the shower so I can kind of mitigate, mitigate all the laundry by uh, washing as I go. Because I told you one of my eccentricities is that I shower using Dawn dishwashing detergent. Everything in the in the apartment is Dawn dishwashing detergent. So I also tend to wash my uh, unit my my uh, um, uh, my uni suits. And this time, since I swamped out my stretchy shorts and my I've I've been using Tech t-shirts, so everything goes in the shower, and I do I do a scrubby scrub, rubby rub, uh, rinsey rinse. Uh, squeezy squeeze, hang those bad boys up, do a rinsey rinse of me, and then uh, towel down and my day has started. Uh, so that's it. I feel like I survived. Um, the eye of the tiger, the eye of the tiger, the eye of the tiger. Bump, 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 bump. So accordingly, I have my next class tomorrow at zero dot dark 30, which is bloody crazy because I'm a dummy McDumb face and we'll see what happens. Uh, comment dieu? My next class is manana and it is tomorrow at 0715. And wish me luck is called the MVP workout. Hey, Google. What is the MVP workout at a F45 training? I don't know, but I found these results on CERT. Alexa, what is the M MVP workout at an F45 training? From CNL Bascom, the MVP is designed for use in sales and is made in the mix sensation party as in the purse West. By the way, lap team and number to change while you will hear the same equipment. Yes. Two new notifications from Amazon Shopping. A shipment has arrived including jump rope. There's a low price offer from your saved for later list. The new Mi Fitness Suspension Workout Cards, instructional fitness deck for women and men, is currently $20.35. The deal will be at least 15% off that price. It goes live in 18 hours and 54 minutes. If you're interested in this deal, when it's available, I can either remind you or buy it for you. Say, remind me later. Or, buy it for me. Buy it for me. Well, it didn't work. Anyway, that was fun. That didn't work. So apparently, MVP is a fixed equipment cardio session with a twist. On the second lap, the even-numbered stations will change while the, while still using the same equipment. So I don't know what that's about. So I'm going to go in a little early. If, uh, if the class is tomorrow at uh, 7.15 a.m., then I'm going to get there at 0, 0700. And I'm probably going to order a big espresso that I won't drink, and we'll see how it goes. Uh, love to you guys. Um, like I said, I'm 295 pounds, so I felt really heavy. Uh, I felt really belabored, but I felt really motivated, and I left there in a positive way. So if you're as intimidated and scared, if you are as intimidated and scared and like, uh, afraid of F45 for being too intense and something that's going to make your heart explode out of your chest, or if you're going to be laughed at for being the uh, loser, or if you're going to be mocked for being heavy, heavy or chubby, or out of shape, or old, or or if you feel like you're going to be fat shamed or fit shamed or age shamed if you're not 
like a complete CrossFit studly, mixed studly face, then don't feel that way. I'm 53 years old. I have pretty bad knees. I'm 295 pounds. I'm extremely underdeveloped and uh, unfit. And my uh, hamstrings are tight. And my my legs, even though they've been my best asset, they are uh, shriveled. And I am uh, under-muscled. Uh, I'm falling apart. And I was able to do it because I had the support of a great coach. I had support of the woman, uh, the charming and wonderful woman who was in my class with me, whose name I hate myself for forgetting. And it was a supportive environment and you run your own race and you do your own exercises and you're only responsible for yourself and there's no wall of competition. It's not a thing where you're wearing a heart rate monitor, even though I run my own heart rate monitor on my... um, uh, Garmin uh, Instinct Solar. I run while I'm there. I run the cardio. Uh, aside from that, um, you're running your own wet race. Nobody's looking at you. Nobody's making fun of you. Everybody's looking up at either the LED screens, like the 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 screens, or they're looking at their own thing, or they're having their own suck, or they're doing their own workout and. Everybody at the end gives you a high five. It's a very, very uh, love-based environment. And I I suggest it for everybody at all ages. I guess the legalese is you should check with your doctor first. But if you are okay, they give you plenty of time to mop up. They give you plenty of time for hydration. And 45 minutes goes really quickly. If you go in early, you can do some uh, stretching. If you are... If you have a little bit of time afterwards between your class and the next class, uh, the coach might give you a little bit of stretching and warming down. It's a five out of five. I'm very excited about it. I joined and you should check out to see if there's an F45 near you. Uh, And there are plenty of promotions. There's a free seven days. There's all kinds of promotions. And even here, there's one in Sherlington. There's one in Crystal City, there's one in Pentagon City, there's one in Clarendon, so they're all over. I'll talk to you soon. Lots of love. Bye-bye. Well, thanks for listening to The Chris Abraham Show. This is Chris Abraham, Season 5, Episode 58. Love you, Dad. Bye-bye. for listening to the chris abraham show make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any future episodes until next time